been talking about Kenny Wayne Shepherd, so I played the song that uh, has been the most successful, the ones I've written with him. And this actually is something that will demonstrate a lot of what we've been talking about. Um, it started uh, partly from a guitar riff, a guitar lick, and uh, that Kenny Wayne had. He was playing uh, something. And I suggested we drop the low string down to a D and fatten that up. So the melody of this really got built around that lick. I think a lot of times it's cool in, in rock and especially blues based rock to make your, me your vocal melody kind of fit around the cool musical part that's going mm -hmm. on. That's an important feature. Um, then this lyric is, I wouldn't say abstract like we've been talking about, but it, more impressionistic in a way. It's, not, it's, it's a pretty straightforward kind of a approach to a lyric, but it's definitely a little more impressionistic than I feel like you'd get away with in a, a country song on country radio. Um, so this is called Blue on Black. The chorus is a series of repeated metaphors. It's kind of a device in this lyric. Um, anyway, cool. here's how it goes. Skin, chew to 
You know, an, an interesting question I think a lot of our people watching would want to know is, how, are there elements of rock that you bring to your country songwriting? And are there mm-hmm. elements Vice of your versa. country songwriting that you bring to rock? I think you're exactly right. Absolutely. Because uh, Kenny, uh, or uh, Kenny, another Kenny, Kenny Chesney, somebody uh, working with Kenny, came up to Tia Sillers and I, Tia and I wrote that with Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Um, by the way, the reason we ended up with the title of Blue on Black, Kenny Wayne and I were mm-hmm. jamming on the guitar. Uh, Kenny had a kind of black and blue, this is why you need a woman sometimes to write a song. <laughs> Kenny Wayne is wearing a, a blue with black t-shirt and Tia is sitting there pondering as, as we're endlessly jamming on the guitar. Wow, I wonder if that's a blue print on a black shirt or is it a black print on a blue shirt? Is it blue on black or black on blue? And as we're jamming away, she goes, hey, hey, I think I might have a title for this song, you know? And what was cool about that is then we got, in really thinking about it, we came up with the approach of using that as the first of a bunch of repeated metaphors. Mm-hmm. Um, at any rate, Kenny Chesney supposedly was over in the islands and hears blue on black on the jukebox in a bar he's in and tells the rest of the folks at the table, I bet some Nashville people wrote that song and went over and, and looked uh, at the 45, I think back mm-hmm. when they were still 45s, um, and said, yep, those are two Nashville cats, you know. So he was, char- and he of course has great song sense, he was sharp enough to figure out, it sounds like maybe a couple Nashville people helping write a rock mm-hmm. song for a rock artist.